<laughs> also, my name is Henry K. Son, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, <laughs> let me tell you about my relationships. <laughs> so, yeah, Bob, I apologize. But, um, the relationship that I want to talk to you guys about is the one I have with God. Um, and I promise you, this is no sermon. I'm not going to be a converter. I'm not a convertible. <laughs> so relax, okay? Um, I'm just like telling you guys um, my personal encounter, right? And uh, I think, let me just preface this by saying, Uguti, what irritates me the most out of just anything ever is how people like dictating how a relationship with God is supposed to look, you know? Um, I don't get now, like, <laughs> I promise you, like, I don't get now, Oguti, Ongulungulung, Konsanganjan, you understand? And I pray and I hope that all of us get to a point where we just like deep that, realize it, you know, just understand it, Oguti. As long as you just stay in your lane, love God the way that you want to love God, oh my God. I just wanted to get that off my chest before I start. Um, but yeah, going back to the main sermon. <laughs> um, Remember how in my last video I spoke about um, my self-esteem issues and things like that? I Did, did you guys know about that? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so, um, one of the main catalysts for me even realizing this inferiority complex that I had was how I saw God in my life. Um, as he who said this was it my aunt my aunt i think someone said this to me Uguti. sometimes like like you know like for years and years <laughs> just be content with 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 ugwazi I mean that's okay that's good and well but then i realized how much that limits me as a human being and limits like god's work in me and through me as a human being in general because creating that relationship that bond it's oh my god <laughs> i don't know it's very liberating and you learn so many things about yourself, about certain things. As the, even the fact I was, I'm going to post um, a podcast like thing um, in my second channel. Plug, plug. Go and follow my second channel. Link in the description. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> but um, I've realized how open my eyes have become. And I've always seen the world in um, like... A very interesting way j period i've always known Oguti, there's more to just life and the way life is designed than what meets the eye but knowing and realizing it's two separate things <laughs> truly two completely completely different things um i'm at a point now where um i'm 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 oh bro Guning. but it's so interesting and it's so nice like in in figure where i'm like as in it's in as range i've always known prayer as my base prayer has always been something that i always run back to you know prayer before any like before anything <laughs> prayer has always been something that i run to like man krupa something prayer you know so I saw that as Uguti ish. Oh, there was a point where I saw that as Uguti ish. Can I still go to prayer even when I'm questioning my my faith? Because I obviously question. I'm I'm like 
I'm gay, man. Of course I question my faith. <laughs> the Bible is... I have a very weird relationship with the Bible, personally. Still do. Still do. But never with God. <laughs> and I know people are going to be like, but how do you know God if you don't know the Bible? I do. <laughs> In my own way because i also realized recently which god really does speak at some point i got irritated I, a lot of things irritated me <laughs> but every time people would stand up and be like god god said i must say this or god um said god just put a word in my heart i'm like i think that's that curiosity also sparked where I am right now, where I'm just like, I want to hear God speak. I want to hear God, like, tell me to stop being gay. <laughs> you understand? Like, I was like, let's hear it. You know, let's hear where, where this goes. I see not like that, but like, like that. <laughs> anyway, um, God really does speak, you know. Um, and uh, in, in the most interesting ways I mean, uh, for me personally it's certain synchronous synchronicities synchronicities <laughs> i remember there was a time where um i started seeing angel numbers angel numbers are very irritating to me um i see those things all the time like <laughs> and i remember when i was in therapy um which was another thing that really irritated me at the time about therapy they really made me think that what i was experiencing um especially after my episode was just like my imagination <laughs> so i got really 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 like agitated because i felt like they were making me look crazy i know my mind was not okay but um one thing that my therapist said um at the time was over team sometimes your mind will make you see things that you are looking for period <laughs> so for me it was in the form of synchronicities right so angel numbers are a very huge common synchronicity so much so that if you google angel number 222 on google it will tell you what it is who controls google like who wrote that how do they know <laughs> so is it very generic google 222 is gonna mean the same thing for all of us those type of things really irked me about angel numbers and certain synchronicities so much so that i found myself literally just like asking god would you if you're gonna speak to me through like things around me and not just like me hearing this like voice in my head or some shit like that because that's literally what i was expecting to hear personally <laughs> um so i was like let me let me not get this stuff that i can like you know just google and stuff i i, I wanna i wanna experience things and then i started experiencing things <laughs> hey, <Nina>. hey. <laughs> no god speaks i promise you god speaks and when you seek god out god will seek you out right back and it's it's the most just like interesting just mind-blowing experience ever and like i said it doesn't look the same for absolutely everyone because people think that because like i i i i have a relationship with god i'm supposed to like act a certain way or like do things a certain way guys utando utando <laughs> And Nunculunculu as would tando ban. Unculunculung as it be fong ye figure. Nan no go to Nibe Utan. I understand. Oh my god, God is limitless. Realize it. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I think with, even with, oh, you guys, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. Remember how in my, my thank you video, I mentioned how things are interesting things are so incredibly interesting like you're gonna need to your like in your manga lanjalo like how certain things just unfold and open and just like 
God is incredible. God is interesting. <laughs> Remember how I even said that? God is interesting. And he shows up in the most interesting ways. In the most unexplainable, unexpected. That's why in the in the beginning of my relationship as well, I used to pray with mindset to like in fage epoxin. I remember I used to be like, God, I pray that you make me realize that you 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 are the box. Not you are the manufacturer of the box. The manufacturer of the manufacturer of the yeah <laughs> I learn like that sometimes. Because again, even in like my my journey, I'm nah I'm the least one of the least perfect human beings. But I'm still able to bring myself back to realizing and accepting, not just accepting, like being grateful for certain things. Like in the beginning of me, like moving here, for example, when things were like really, really murky, especially in my head, I used to want to like, I sought out things to be grateful for. Like when I woke up and I forgot to pray, for example, um, I would like while I'm making like food and I, you know, taste good and shit like that. I'd be like, oh, my God, thank you for this amazing food. <laughs> thank you for the fact that I have hands to make this food. Thank you for the fact that I have taste buds to taste this amazing food that my hands were able to make. Thank you, God. That my mom was able to buy the ingredients. Thank you, God, <laughs> for the fact that I have a mom. You know. <laughs> for the fact that I have a mom. For the fact that I have a roof over my head. For the fact... Then... Boom. It's a whole just like... Thank you, fist. <laughs> and that's how I started, little by little. Little by little. You know, gradually just like building. Because um, that's why people always say God has a lot of names. Like to people, to other people, like, you know, holistic people. It's like source, universe, whatever, blah, blah, blah. To me, it's literally God because that's my foundation personally. But that's why I also want to go back again and stress again to the fact that People need to take it out of their mind over to a relationship with God has a certain blueprint. Like, <laughs> I mean, uh, did you guys even think it was possible for me to like come on here and start like talking about God the way that I am right now? <laughs> but literally today, I'm talking about how amazing seeking God out is has been for me like realizing uguti ugumazi ngendaba ugumazi ngezenzo or ngempilo zabanya bantu was just simply not enough anymore i wanted to seek him out personally make him literally my 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 go to my my home yes <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm done now. <laughs> things are really interesting. Like, things are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly interesting, you guys. Like, oh, certain things come in doses. You know, certain realizations come in doses. And, uh, when I share this man, life is also man. <laughs> so, um, we, we, we just keep learning as we go. We just keep realizing, you know. We, we just keep snowing <laughs> so yeah that's it um let me know what you guys you know think about this sort of you know talk and stuff like that i am most probably gonna be like my god my god my <laughs> but let me know again how this type of content makes you feel um again i will stress I understand I'm not in any way trying to force you to be at a certain point in your life or anything like that. I'm literally just like tell you guys a story time. <laughs> anyway, um I appreciate you guys a lot and thank you guys so 
my fucking much <laughs> for getting to this point. It means a lot to me to have your guys' support, to have, um, yeah, man, just that support, bad shit. <laughs> Thank you guys once again. Away.